Aisha, it's Ariane from Mainland Ford. I just wanted to do a video for you on the uh, Kia that we picked out for you. So we have an approval in place for you on this one. And uh, I think it's gonna be a really good choice for you. Ultimately, the decision is totally yours. But um, I think you would have no problem fitting a keyboard in the back because it's actually a 60-40 split. So you can have the car seat on one side and then you can have the uh, keyboard going through the other side. And not only that, but the trunk is really quite large. So there's a look at the back. And uh, all you do to fold the seats down is you're going to pull either one of these buttons. So we'll pull those out. And the trunk is really nice and spacious. I think you might be able to fit the keyboard depending on how big, um, even without folding the seats down. But it's nice to have the option of both. All right, so it's a little sticky, but uh, once you get it open, there's tons of space. So you can have your son over here and then have the keyboard go right through. So I think this is going to be a really good option for you because it's a big sedan and it's going to be really nice and easy on gas because I know Keisha is commuting and uh, the approval is in place already. And not only that, but payment's going to be a lot lower on this than it would be on an SUV just purely because... SUVs cost more than a sedan, and uh, price is going to be higher. Inside, it's actually really well equipped. So it's got uh, heated seats, driver and passenger, and then it's got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And what that is, is uh, basically simplified screen mirroring. So you plug your cell phone in, you can use your Google Maps, and uh, you get real-time traffic on there. So most people use that over navigation. And you can put in Spotify, Apple Music, you can do voice texting, voice calling, and uh, it's just generally a really good interface to have in there. And then of course you've got your uh, AM, FM, you've got satellite radio, Bluetooth, you've got uh, auxiliary and USB on there. And then because it's only got 11,000 kilometers on here, you have tons of factory warranty remaining. And uh, you also get five years or 100,000 kilometer roadside assistance. So it's definitely one of the safer choices for you. Seats are in really nice shape. And uh, one of the nice things about this one is that it was used as a rental for the first 11,000 K or so. And what's nice about that is that they always maintain it according to the factory's recommended maintenance. So you know for sure that it's all been taken care of and they detail them in and out like after every uh, person who rents them just because nobody wants to rent a dirty car, right? So let me know what you guys think of this and uh, we'll go from there. But I think this is a really great option for you and uh, the choice is yours. So we'll talk soon, Cole. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.